Hi, my name is Shay, and I want to try HelloFresh for a while. So now that I'm in lockdown, I thought, what better time than now? I thought it'd be really cool to record the recipes and give my non-sponsored honest review. So I'll also be telling you if you should try it out or not. If you don't know what HelloFresh is, it's a meal kit system where you can choose three to four recipes and they will package all the ingredients and ship it to your door. I was so glad to see that almost everything was recyclable. The ingredients came in brown paper bags. Each bag had all the ingredients for each separate recipe. I chose four recipes. They had labels on them with the ingredients. For the meat, they had a divider at the bottom to separate it from the fresh produce. They also had recyclable ice packs, which you could use later on. The box was also insulated to make sure that everything would keep cool until it arrived at my door. They also included expiration dates on them so you could decide which meats you needed to cook first. I'm a very visual person and I love that they included recipe cards with cooking instructions. They had step-by-step -step pictures telling you exactly what to do. The HelloFresh meals are supposed to be easy to cook and should take no more than half an hour. I was interested because I struggled to find dinner recipes and ideas so I figured that I could try this out and make some delicious recipes that I can incorporate into my lifestyle. I'm a pretty experienced cook, I meal prep, but I struggle with what I eat for dinner. When I'm not in lockdown I literally have an hour to eat before having to get ready for bed. It's pretty hectic honestly. So I finally had a chance to try HelloFresh because I used someone's code which gave me a really good discount. By the way if you're thinking of trying HelloFresh as well I'll leave my referral code down below as well as pinned in the comments for you to try to get your own free box to try. I like that they give you all the ingredients. I don't have to go out and get them. If you cook, you know that buying ingredients for a specific recipe can be so wasteful, which is why we generally buy staples when we go to the grocery store and then we make our own recipe out of those. So I'm so excited to show you guys what a week of HelloFresh looks like. Enjoy all the delicious recipes. Bon appetit. The first recipe was lamb tacos with fresh pico de gallo. This was the highest calorie meal, clocking in at 840 calories. I was so shocked. I'm like, for some damn tacos, 840 calories, goddamn. The ingredients seemed simple enough. It does say that you're gonna need some items that were there that they're not gonna give you in the box. So I just had to use a juicer to get the lemon juice out. It's not that serious. So it's crazy how little juice you get from one lemon. The recipe card said that I'm supposed to have a lime, but they gave me a lemon, so that was kind of weird, but it's okay, because I kind of preferred the lemon anyway, so it worked out. I love how they give you all fresh ingredients. I don't feel like I'm eating processed foods, and I know exactly what went into everything. So I made sure to sanitize everything and wash all my produce as well as the meat. I had watched a couple of reviews, and people had said it wasn't very clear that you could choose your own recipes. So I made sure to pick out what I wanted, because I didn't want to get stuck with food that I don't eat. They have about 24 different recipes each week and you can select which ones you want. They even let you add an extra meal if you want for an additional charge. They also let you filter the boxes according to your diet so you can choose vegan, dairy-free, vegetarian, etc. I think it's pretty cool how they have different recipes every single week. This was absolutely delicious, something I would definitely make on my own. I've never really had lamb, so it was a really great experience. This recipe definitely took a bit longer than 30 minutes, but that's just because I was filming and cleaning up as I went along. They gave me six tortillas, so I portioned out everything between them, and I felt like if they had given me a little bit more meat, that would have been ideal, because I felt like the tacos were kind of empty in my opinion, but that's okay. I love that you added lemon zest and lemon juice to the sauce. It was so good. I had to microwave the sauce for about 30 seconds just to get the right consistency to be able to pour it over the tacos like in the picture. I'm not a big fan of spring mix so I really didn't even love the salad. I actually didn't even eat it. <laughs> a weird thing, this recipe called for so much salt. Season the lamb with salt. Put salt in the pico de gallo. Put salt in the sauce. Like, man, it was just way too much. I only used a sprinkle. Only in the lamb and I felt like that was enough, okay? So another weird thing is that they wanted you to put a spoonful of sugar into the salad? Like, what's the point of the salad then? Like, I've never heard of anyone doing that, but I definitely did not do that. I rated this recipe a 9.5 out of 10. It would have gotten a solid 10 out of 10, but that spring mix was not it. It was really delicious. The sauce was amazing. I love the fresh pico de gallo. Lamb with the shallots, oh my God, it was so good. The lemon juice and the lemon zest just put everything over the top. I would definitely make this on my own. I would keep the recipe how I altered it and not put as much salt. Maybe I would make it a bit spicy just to definitely kick up the flavor. Cooking this, my mouth was watering and I couldn't even eat right away because I had to get a good picture of it and I had to make it look aesthetically pleasing. The box I ordered, it was supposed to be for two people. They didn't have an option for one person, so I pretty much have this as two servings. I used this as lunch and dinner because it was so filling. I couldn't wait to go back for seconds. It was so good. It's so cute because if you post your food clips on Instagram, 
Instagram and tag HelloFresh. They comment on it and it's adorable. I always get a guy who comments and he always signs his name at the end like he's writing me a letter. It's too cute. He'd be like, look at that plating. Signed, Joey. Like, it's just so cute. Day two, I was so excited to get cooking. The trick is to not wait until you're starving to actually go down and prepare your meals. So I would start cooking just a little bit before I got hungry. We don't want to be hangry cooking up in the kitchen now, do we? Wow. They actually gave you jam, like from a hotel. This is the freaking jam that they give you at hotels. Recipe number two was the blueberry barbecue pork chops. The name caught my eye because I've never seen blueberry and barbecue <laughs> in the same sentence. So I thought this could be interesting. Never had pork chops before, so I wasn't sure what to expect. I don't eat a lot of pork and I actually cut it out of my diet for a good portion of my life. The cooking and prep for this recipe was really easy. It was just cutting up veggies and popping the pork in the oven. The recipe said to peel the sweet potatoes, but if you look at the recipe card, they have the skin still on, so I left it. When I make sweet potatoes, I leave the skin on, so. The recipe said to season them with salt and pepper, question mark, question mark, uh, no thank you. I put cinnamon on my sweet potatoes, try it out, I might just put you on something new, it's delicious. When I put the pork in the oven for the amount of time the recipe said, it came out looking uncooked and I don't know about y'all, but we don't eat no uncooked stuff up in here. Okay, so I popped that baby back in for about 10 minutes more. The picture made the pork look nice and tender, so I don't think it was meant to be cooked a lot. The sauce was what surprised me the most. It was absolutely delicious. Very simple too. It was just literally barbecue sauce and those packs of blueberry jam that you get from a hotel. I was like, if I wanted jam from a hotel, I'd go to a hotel, but okay. I replaced the butter in the sauce with olive oil to save calories. I definitely went back for seconds because this was so delicious. The recipe said to trim the ends of the green beans. I didn't even know people did that, but I did it. I love the garlic addition to the steamed veggies. It gave it so much flavor. I honestly think the green beans and the tomatoes were my favorite part of the dish. I even dipped it in the sauce just to see how it tastes and no surprise, it was good. I gave this recipe a solid 10 out of 10. I loved it. I'll be making that blueberry barbecue sauce again for my own personal meals. This looked very healthy. It clocked in at 750 calories. Once again, this was my lunch and my dinner, two servings. I think it was excellent. Good job. The third recipe was the roasted barramundi tacos. I've never heard of this kind of fish, but I was down for some fish tacos. The prep looked pretty easy. The bag just had a bunch of produce, so I knew it would be just as simple as cutting up veggies, seasoning the fish, and then making the sauce. The fish was easy to cook because all I had to do was season it with the Mexican seasoning they gave me and then pop it in the oven. I found that the fish was a bit flavorless. I feel like it could have had a bit more spice. It was kind of bland, like a little bit spicy, you know what I'm saying? The recipe had you make this garlic baja sauce, they called it, which is a mix of sour cream, lime juice, and garlic. It had a little guide on the recipe that was telling you the different amounts of garlic to add depending on how spicy you want it, which I thought was kind of weird because I've never associated anything to be spicy with garlic but okay i just put the entire clothes in because i just love garlic they had you make this coleslaw which was a bunch of cut up veggies and then mayo with some lime juice it was okay i'm not a big fan of kale but i barely tasted it usually kale has this really potent taste but like you can barely taste it i love the fresh pico de gallo as well i had to add hot sauce to the tacos because it was so flavorless except for the bites where you got that sauce the baja sauce when you make a dish, the sauce is supposed to be an addition. It's supposed to add to the flavor. It shouldn't be the only flavor. Like if I didn't want the sauce, I should be able to just eat the tacos and have the fish be flavorful, but it wasn't. I rated this recipe a 7.5 out of 10. It clocked in at 740 calories. I cut the calories where I could by replacing any butter with olive oil. I also didn't add as much salt as the recipe called for. I love how aesthetically pleasing all the recipes are. I love food that looks good and tastes good. Tacos are one of my favorite meals. When I posted this, everyone was so jealous and it made them really want tacos. They were so shocked that this, is, that this recipe was in the box. I even handed out some of my referral codes because people really want to try HelloFresh and I was so happy. Just to comment on the waste, it wasn't a lot. I know some things came in plastic. I tried to recycle what I could. There was very little packaging and the fact that it came in brown bags made it a lot easier to recycle. So that was good. On to my last and least favorite recipe of the week. This one had so much potential. We're making the creamy squash ravioli. I love pasta dishes, so of course I had to choose this. First thing I noticed was that the recipe called for a lot of mushrooms. I don't even know if I like mushrooms like that, but <laughs> they don't come pre-cut, so I gotta chop them up, put them on a pan, spray them with olive oil, and then add the Italian seasoning mix. You then pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes. To make the sauce, it was pretty interesting. While I had the spinach on the stove wilting, I was chopping up the shallots and adding them in as well. I love that it had a bunch of veggies as a sauce. They gave a little packet of vegetable broth and you cook that all up and then you add some sour cream. 
I've got to say that the best thing about this dish was definitely the sauce. I would make it again, but not with the pasta they gave me. They gave a whole package of those pre-made raviolis. I'm pretty sure those are the ones you can get from Walmart. There was so much pasta, not enough sauce. The pasta was just bland. It wasn't even good. I almost wish they would have taken that out altogether and just put maybe some penne or something. I was not too big of a fan of the mushrooms. They gave you some Parmesan cheese to top it off. I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 10 just based on the sauce alone. Everything else was just not doing it for me. This clocks in at 690 calories. It also kind of bothered me that the recipe card had square raviolis, whereas they gave me round raviolis, but let's not get picky. All right, time to summarize this week. For the cost of the box with a discount, it was about $69, whereas normally it's $99. So I got a pretty good discount. I really enjoyed trying out all the new recipes. It was pretty exciting. I don't think after the discount ends that I'm going to continue the subscription. In reality, it only gives you about one meal per day. You still need to get groceries and have the two other meals plus snacks, anything else you want to eat. So the recipes were pretty high calorie. So it was hard to really stick to eating healthy. I know they have healthier options that I can try, which is a plus. I definitely think you should try HelloFresh. It's a great way to learn how to cook and try new recipes. I don't think it will completely replace your groceries, but it might make things a bit easier. I looked at this like an experience where I'm trying out new recipes with the end goal that I'll find something that I can incorporate into my lifestyle. I have three more boxes and I'll be making videos on those too. If you got it this far in the video, please comment the word down below, lime. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really supports the channel. Hit that subscribe button, put your notification bell on. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Love you. See you in the next video. Bye.